What's up, YouTube? And welcome back to another episode of That Savage Kitchen. Today, we're gonna be making some cheesecake. Yes, sir. We're gonna be making some of that, bro. I love cheesecake. At night, real late at night, cheesecake will do it for you, man. Right before you go to sleep, you already know. I love cheesecake at nighttime, real late at night. Cheesecake could do, man. Top it up before you go to sleep. <laughs> what? So, if you like that stuff, make sure you watch this video, bro. It's gonna be good. And wait, future, what type of cheesecake do you like? Just the regular one. Perfect, that's the type I like. So, that's what we're gonna be making today. So, other than that, let's get started. Yeah! All right, so here are the ingredients you're gonna need. You're gonna need some graham crackers. You're gonna need some eggs. You're gonna need some sugar. You're gonna need some sour cream. You're gonna need some cream cheese and some vanilla extract. All right, so first we're gonna start with our blender. So what I have is a Ninja blender, bro. And if y'all wanna know where I get my products from, I put a link in the description box. So make sure you check that out. But what I did was I grounded up 21 graham crackers or two and a half cups for our graham cracker crust. All right, so after we blended up our graham crackers, we're gonna get a bowl and we're gonna pour our mixture in there. Now, we're gonna add half a cup of some melted, unsalted butter. So after you add that, we're gonna mix it in till it gets like, um, like it's wet sand. It's gonna be kind of like wet sand. That's, that's the best description for it. So after you get it to that type of texture and you can mold it with your hands, you good. So now, we're gonna add our graham crackers into our pan. If you wanna know where I got this pan, like I said, make sure you check the description down below cause I will link it to where I get all my stuff. All right, so after we add our graham crackers, we're gonna use the back of a measuring spoon or cup and we're just gonna flat it so we have a flat crust and have a crust on the side. And one thing about me is I have an OCD where I like things to be perfect and clean. So bro, when I tell you I was on this thing for a good 20 minutes, he needs some milk. bro, it, it, it's ridiculous, but I like things to be perfect. All right, so we're gonna take our graham cracker crust and put it in our oven at 350 degrees for seven minutes. All right, so after the seven minutes, we're gonna take our graham cracker crust and let it sit. And while that's sitting out to room temperature, we're gonna boil a pot of water. All right, so while our water is boiling and our crust is coming to room temperature, we're gonna make the base. So first I started with five, eight ounces of some room temperature cream cheese. All right, then we're gonna add one and one fourth cup of some granulated sugar. And now we're gonna keep beating it. Just beat it up like an abusive dad. Okay. But make sure you scrape the sides of the bowl so everything gets incorporated, bro. Bro, I might need to make some merch. I'm always saying the word incorporated. I've just noticed that. But while we're doing that, we're gonna add six room temperature eggs. Add them one at a time and make sure you're scraping the sides while you're adding them. This is very important. And make sure it's smooth like this. We do not want any lumps. It should look like this. All right, so now we're gonna add one fourth cup of some sour cream or some creme fraiche if you want to. Creme fraiche, if you don't know, it's just sweeter than sour cream because sour cream is bitter. And then I took half a tablespoon of some vanilla extract. After all that, your mixture should look like this. All right, guys, so as good as it looks, please don't be tempted to eat it, bro. We got a cheesecake to make. But now we're gonna move on to this foil technique. Now, after your crust has came to room temperature, we're gonna add two thick sheets of foil. All right, so now we're gonna take our foil and we're just gonna wrap it around our cheesecake, cheesecake pan. What this does is we're gonna do a water method so no water is gonna seep into our cheesecake. All right, so we're gonna get a thick, deep pan. And what we're gonna do is first we're gonna add our little cheesecake pie crust or graham cracker crust. And then now we're gonna pour our creamy mixture. Relax. Bro, pour it all the way to the top like this. And don't worry, it's not, cheesecake doesn't rise that much. So you, you have nothing to fear. Now we're gonna take our boiling pot of water and we're gonna pour the sides. What this does is it prevents the cheesecake from cracking. We do not want a cracked cheesecake. All right, so we're gonna cook our cheesecake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. Then we're gonna reduce our heat to 225 degrees Fahrenheit for an hour to an hour and 10 minutes until the top has a little jiggle to it. Now we're gonna take it out the oven and let it sit for 40 minutes. After it has come to room temperature, if you want to, what I did was I added something called a sour cream top. So all you need, super simple, all you need is a cup of sour cream, three tablespoons of sugar, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And all you gotta do is just mix that up together and pour it on top. 
After your cheesecake has cooled and you do whatever you want to it, we're gonna saran wrap after it comes to room temperature. And we're gonna refrigerate it for at least a day because a warm cheesecake rushed into the fridge will cause cracks and we do not want cracks. And a cold, firm cheesecake is easier to cut. Now I'm gonna time lapse it to a full day. All right, so now we're gonna work on our strawberry syrup for our cheesecake. So I took 441 grams of some strawberries, which is about a pound and I added them to my pot. And you already know it gotta be hot. So now I turned up my heat and I added half a cup of some sugar, one fourth cup of some lime juice. And that's it, that's all you need. We're just gonna just keep stirring it constantly because we do not want no dark strawberries. And it should look like this, more of a syrup type, you feel me? After your strawberries are done cooking on the stove, you can do this or put it in the fridge. And yo, this reminds me of my ice cream video. Make sure y'all check that out where I made a strawberry cheesecake ice cream. All right, so now that we're finished with our strawberry syrup, it's time for the main thing. Cheesecake. <laughs> the cheesecake. So we're going to release the sides and we're going to lift it up, bro. That looks fantastic to me. Ladies and gentlemen, there's only one thing left to, actually two. There's only two things left to do. Now we got to cut it and taste it, bro. So now I'm going to give y'all that cross section right here. Bro, if y'all ready for this, make sure y'all leave a like. Because look at that. Man, I don't know about y'all, but... That's the sexiest, that's the sexiest cheesecake I've ever seen. Oh Thank you, my God. Get up close with it. Whoa, boy, I killed that. Now we got plated. And bro, look at that plating, bro. At the Cheesecake Factory, we got a Cheesecake Savage Factory, bro. Woo, man. Now we're going to top it off with some strawberries. You already know, look at that drip on the side like that, boy. That, that, that looks like something that you see in a Food Network commercial or in a magazine, but yo. Now, now I tell you, I tell you that there's only one thing left to do. And now we gotta get us a little fork. And hey, look at that, bro. We gotta get up close and personal with it. We gonna get all up in this personal space. And you already know I went crazy on Instagram. I had to, I had to show off my cake. Mm. So we got us a little fork. Now look at this cross section, bro. Oh my yeah. Get you some of that strawberry, get you some of that sauce. And eat cheesecake factory ain't got nothing on me bro it's so creamy the crust is so delicious and buttery and flavorful man hey man i ate the whole thing on camera but i had to trim it but yo it's my guilty pleasure i'm sorry cheesecake is my favorite dessert but hey thank you guys for watching bro i hope y'all enjoyed this hope y'all make this recipe but hey other than that i'm out